Education is very important in our family. We know that we have to be a part of our child's education. Everyone works together, student, teacher, parent. It's just a very accepting and nurturing environment. It's like a family. It's all part of making sure that she gets the best possible education with her learning disabilities. We've just been really thrilled with what we've experienced. My child is having success. You see that there's hope. It's made a great difference in our quality of life. That wouldn't happen anywhere else. You know, I don't know what I would have done without Churchill. Life for Kaylee before was um, in a classroom with up to maximum of 30 kids. As David progressed on through, it was becoming quite apparent that he wasn't keeping up and was having more and more difficulty, especially with the reading elements. Nothing got finished. It could be from, from drawing a picture to making a clay pot to, to anything. Not a single thing got completed. A child who does that every year is going to start thinking that they're extremely different than his peers. So she just fell through the cracks. As soon as I walked into this school, I saw the environment and it was uh, as much like a traditional school setting as anybody would ever want. They were participating, they were happy. It was just extremely reassuring. Within days, we saw a change already, just in the fact that she was happier. It's a school that started for children who have difficulty learning in a traditional learning environment. We really focus on an individual approach to learning, believing that each child has the potential to learn and, and the right to uh, an education. There's no one way for each child. There's a, there's a whole range of uh, different approaches and techniques that each teacher takes the time to figure out and uh, develop our approach for the year. The fact that I have five in my class, they, they get the program that they need. The school modifies everything to what her learning style is and what her speed is. In other schools, we'd fight for an individual education plan. We just don't even have that conversation here because they, they have that assumption that every kid's going to have to be taught in their own way. Which has reduced um, anger and aggression and behavioral problems for him because he's not fighting for, hey, hi, here I am. Like, we go for... <laughs> weeks on end without the phone ringing. When you can get a student who couldn't read to be able to read, that's a big thing. Now all of a sudden, you know, a paragraph is more than four words. She's writing paragraphs that are a few sentences at a time. She's actually starting to learn things. Not just be comfortable, not just be in a safe environment. You know, it's education. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to do something, as long as you can complete it and you do it. Here's what I expect. It's very predictable. You know it. We're going to revisit it. Um, so now I'm, I'm counting on you, right? And he didn't have that, somebody kind of holding him accountable like that prior to coming here. And it works. One of the greatest things about Churchill is that the, the sense of acceptance that the students have for each other. They just accept everybody's strengths, weaknesses, differences, and it just works. His dad, a parent teacher, said, you know, he had three birthday invitations in one weekend. That's as many birthday invitations as he had his whole, the whole year, wow. five years that he's been in public school. He's really found his spot here, and, um, and the kids love him. These students understand that we believe in them and that we know that they're capable of, of whatever they want to do. And they carry themselves differently. They, they start enjoying school again. Their self-esteem really starts to rise. Um, they, be, they become, uh, you know, student and, and they, they realize some doors will now be open that weren't open before. And as long as they continue to work as hard as they can, that people will help them, uh, you know, achieve the goals that they're trying to set in place. Pat said that his philosophy and the philosophy for the school was to make sure that every kid who came through these doors, when they left, knew what they were good at. And that's just fantastic. So, you know, Churchill's really brought out his spirit. And you know what, it's a beautiful spirit. 